What's going on guys? So we're here today in Portugal. We're gonna be filming some epic stuff. Filming with some legends of the surfing world with the drone and getting some epic shots. Right now the sun is out so I'm gonna get down there with the drone. I hate to cut it short but we're here in Nazare. Get ready for some action. It's going down. All right, so the sun is now setting. We filmed for about 30 minutes, got a couple clips. It's pretty remarkable how fast these guys go on the foils, on these just big massive swells. So the swells only get bigger in the next couple days. Two days ago, I got a phone call, said, hey, you wanna go to Portugal? Flew into Portugal about two hours ago, got a rental car, jumped in a rental car, and then drove out here to Nazare. I'm like five feet from the edge, but I feel like I'm right on top of the edge like i'm gonna lose my camera and all my camera gears so just fall off the cliff there just got to the house we're gonna be staying at for the next couple days right here basically on the beach you can see the waves down there you can see the ocean i'm excited to explore and see more it's about seven in the morning here in portugal a little bit of a difference in time about a five hour time difference so waking up this morning was a little hard obviously falling asleep last night was even harder but it's looking epic out right now i just shot some amazing sunrise drone footage the ocean is super flat, it looks really calm. The waves aren't as big as we expected them to be, but there's still plenty of time for them to increase throughout the day. But Monday is supposed to be massive either way. So we're gonna try to get out there, the boys, everybody's loaded up. We're gonna head down to the beach, get the skis ready, get the boys out there, try to get some epic drone shots today. The number one goal, number one goal always when flying the drone is to get the drone back to the beach. We're gonna risk it, obviously, we're gonna try to get the shot, but at the end of the day, we wanna come home with some drones in the car, because if we don't come home with drones, well, we don't have footage. All right, so we just drove down to the beach. The boys are already out there. I got the Phantom ready to go. We're gonna do some filming. It's looking pretty insane out there right now. You guys can see, I'll show you some clips here of the drone here so I can get a better idea of what it looks like, but pretty amped. You can tell I'm pretty amped. I've been driving around trying to figure out how to get to this spot. Driving in Portugal is not so easy. There's a lot of roundabouts. There's a lot of weird one ways. It's a maze. It's seriously a maze. And you know, I'm from America where it's just like, we just drive straight through, baby. All right, so we've been filming for about five hours now and the footage looks insane. I probably shot some of the best drone footage I've ever shot in my entire life today. And I filmed a lot. I filmed a lot of things, a lot of cool things, but this is definitely some of the wildest, most insane, just hard to explain what it really is like, especially when I'm here filming it. I'm like right there. I'm experiencing it with the guys as they're riding the wave. So it's like, I'm there, I'm touching, you know, I'm filming, I'm, I'm like a part of it. So really, really cool experience. Another thing about this trip is that the guy on this trip, Laird Hamilton, is a legend in the sport. Legend, le legendary, everybody in surfing knows who he is. He's been around since I was a little kid, riding big waves, foiling and just doing weird, innovative stuff since day one. And really, it's amazing that I'm here today. When I was a little kid, I watched videos of him riding big waves, and now I'm here filming him riding big waves. So to see the progression of filming my friends to now filming you know, legendary pro surfers. It's a pretty big deal, at least for me. I don't know if it means anything to you guys, not that I'm like bragging about it, but just trying to explain like how cool this is for me to be here in Portugal getting paid to film pro surfers doing really crazy wild things on the waves. So I've already filmed like literally eight different batteries. You can see over here how many batteries I have charging right now. This is like madness. So the biggest problem obviously with the drone is that I've only got like eight batteries and the batteries have to be charged. The batteries last 30 minutes. I've got to always be thinking about, okay, I'm going to go charge. I'm going to film. I'm going to charge. I'm going to film and I'm going to do this kind of strategically, but it's hard. It's really hard when it's so epic out. You know, normally I have a little bit of time between kind of the shots and stuff, but now it's just like bam, 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 nothing but epic shots. Hopefully this battery charges up quick enough here and I can get back to filming and stop talking about how much of a fanboy I am right now. What are you guys working on over here? How's the surf's gonna come up more? Well, no surf, so we may as well eat. I think yeah. the size is it. He'll tell you after. We'll find out. Uh-oh. There she is. So far it's looking good though. It smells it's good. It's looking yeah, really good. Look at how many okay. chefs he's has yeah, got there. <laughs> Those are sous chefs. How come I'm getting credit? Here we go. Your head, I'm just an I'm, I'm just like an innocent bystander right now. Throw some of those mushrooms. What do you guys think of uh, <laughs> Benny's cooking skills? Oh my gosh, Benny, you're bomb. amazing. Oh, oh. Oh. One thing that I love about traveling in Europe and other places is the scenery, obviously, but the architecture. There's really cool architecture in Europe because it's old and you know, in Florida we have no old buildings. We have a couple of old buildings, but in general, 
I mean, you don't have really cool like old churches like this back in Florida. So I love going to other countries and seeing what it's like to have old architecture and history. Having some history, you know? All right, so it's day two. The waves are a little bit smaller today. Had an epic meal last night, so the boys are going out. Trying to get some shots before it gets windy out there. I'm gonna be flying from home today because there's not really any reason for me to go anywhere because I can just fly with the drone out there to where they are, so it's pretty epic. I got the TV turned on, I got the heater going. I'm chilling, I'm in paradise right now. A drone flying paradise, sitting on the couch basically flying the drone. All right, so we just got finished up filming day two, day three, whatever you want to call it. Got some epic shots today. The drone, whew, the drone put in some work today. I think at one point, I don't know for sure, but I'm pretty sure that the drone actually went through like water, through the wave breaking over. I'm pretty sure, I saw, all I saw was water and then the drone came back and it was soaking wet. So I'm not sure how long this drone is going to last. Hopefully it lasts me at least two more days. I got two more days here in Portugal. I got more shots to get, well, three more days, but I got two more full days here, so I'm trying to get as many shots as I can. I want to get this drone video as good as possible, so hopefully the drone is still alive, but we got some epic shots. I got this shot right here of Uncle Terry almost dying. That's the gravity of this, you know, of riding big waves, of surfing in general, really obviously surfing big waves. There's a risk to it, and when you have a foil, you got a metal foil thing on the bottom of the board. It's just like a blade. So there's definitely a lot of risk when you're adding a foil, you're going super fast, you know, you're going 40, 50 miles an hour. At the end of the day, there's obviously risk involved with riding massive waves with a metal knife on the bottom of your board. So, I mean, riding big waves in general is already dangerous, but now you're adding a metal blade to the bottom of your board. So it's day three. It's a little rainy, it's a little stormy this morning. The waves are kind of all jumped up and bouncing around there, so the guys are kind of just waiting to see what happens. It's pretty amazing to see these big, massive waves kind of marching right by the cliff. People in the front, like people standing in front of the waves on the cliff make the waves look even bigger, so it's pretty wild. All right, so it's day three. We've got some amazing footage so far today. The waves have really jacked up. It looks insane right now. The sun is about to set. Overall, it's just been amazing, so I'm gonna get back out there and get some more shots, but I wanna share with you guys some of these just incredible, some pretty amazing shots here. The guys are pushing it. The waves are really jacking up. This is like the biggest it's gonna get while we're here, so we're really trying to maximize productivity and get the shots. Get the shots, baby. <laughs> 